Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, once again releasing something super, super early when Scarecrow's sleeping. Come on man, 6am. Well, anyway, here we are, we're finally going to cover it and uh, talk about the brand new map, Emerald Coast, because they revealed a uh, little teaser trailer, as well as a bunch of details about the brand new map. Okay, so we're going to pause right here, this is, uh, this is me from the future editing this video. I do got to say a few different things because when I recorded this video, it was before they did the Expansive Worlds live stream. And when they did the live stream, they revealed a lot of stuff. They revealed that the new great one is a fallow deer, which I did a full video covering a little bit ago. So be sure to check that out if you haven't. And also they revealed the species list. So we now have the full species list and that is the Rusa deer, Sambar deer, hog deer, uh, stubble quail, we've got the bantang, we've got the fallow deer, red deer, axis deer, um, we've got the magpie goose, we've got feral goat, feral pig, red fox, the eastern gray kangaroo, and then I think I forgot to say hog deer, maybe. Uh, if I, if I remember what it was, then I'll, I'll put that up on screen, but if I forgot anything, you know, you guys can leave it in the comments. I'm sure you guys will notice if I forgot any of the species, but uh, that's what I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, but anyway, let's get back into the actual video. I just had to real quickly give the update because there was new information that came out. We also have a ton of images to go through, so let's go ahead and do that as well. But first, of course, we got to check out the teaser trailer. She's a real beauty, isn't she? Where the lush rainforest meets the wide open outback. If you ask me, there's no other place like the Emerald Coast. So as we just saw in that little teaser trailer, it is going to be literally exactly what I wanted in an Australia map. It's going to be a combination of Outback as well as Australian Jungle, which is going to make it really, really cool. Or I guess Australian Rainforest, whatever you want to call it. Jungle, Rainforest. You guys get what I mean. It's literally going to be a combination of Pickabean Bay and uh, Bush Rangers Run from the Hunter Classic, which is really huge. This is honestly going to be a really cool map, just based on what we've seen in that little trailer. But luckily, that little trailer is not the only stuff we have to look at. As you guys can see, we're currently looking at a image. But luckily, that little trailer is not the only thing we have to look at today. We also got some images, as you guys are already seeing on screen. So let's go through them. There's a lot to get to. So this right here seems to be an overhead view of the map. It does seem like there is one of the lookout towers in the bottom left, as well as I noticed some type of a point of interest or something in the bottom right. I don't know what that could be, but it seems like this will be some type of point of interest. Next up, we got an image of a saltwater crocodile. They teased this yesterday, but we didn't actually get to see the actual animal. We just saw a little emote get uploaded into their Discord that showcased a saltwater crocodile. Now we actually get to see it and what it looks like in game. And that is pretty stunning. There's already a pretty big difference between these and the alligators, so that is really nice to see. It's good that it wasn't just a full on copy paste. There is some visual differences. And now for this image, we've got uh, the more outback, like dry, arid part of the map with a couple of kangaroos. So that's really cool. Kangaroos are definitely a species that a lot of people really wanted on this map. And a lot of people also didn't expect that to even be a thing. I saw so many comments that were like, you can't hunt kangaroos. Well, we're hunting kangaroos. So there they are. And now this is a really cool image right here because this confirms that we're going to get magpie geese, which are one of my favorite things. Uh, from Pickabean Bay in the Hunter Classic. A lot of people love the magpie geese. I hunted so many of these things in Classic to get money to uh, purchase new gear and stuff. And they're a really cool bird as well. It's nice to see that we are going to be getting the magpies. I'm really, really excited for this. Now, for this one, I had to zoom in a little bit to see exactly what deer species this is. But I believe this is the hog deer. I could be wrong. But I believe that is the hog deer, just based on the shape of the uh, female one in the back here. 
the face and everything, it looks like a hog deer. I am so excited. This is exactly what I was hoping to see, is stuff like this. Species that we may not have really thought about too much whenever we originally thought of an Australia map, but ones that are actually really cool. It looks like the hog deer is going to be in the game, which is really amazing. I'm like 99% sure that that's what this is. And now we've got a look at what seems to be one of the outposts. I believe it is. I mean, I see the tent pole down there. So yeah, this would have to be an outpost. This is really unique. Way different than any of the outposts that we currently have. So that's really amazing. I'm super interested uh, to see kind of the route they go with some of the other outposts. And now we've got a really amazing picture of a Bantang. This is another species I really wanted them to add. And so the fact that we now have confirmation of Bantang is honestly incredible. These things are a blast to hunt in the Hunter Classic, and I can only imagine they're going to be the same here in Call of the Wild. Uh, next, we've got a overhead image once again, this time from kind of the top of the mountain. And it's looking down towards the coast, I believe. And it kind of showcases some of the jungle and a little bit of the landscape. This map is going to be really cool. It does seem like we're going to get a good mix of wide open areas and jungly areas. So that is really cool to see. This is what a lot of people were hoping this map would be, is a nice uh, mix of outback open areas and the more uh, jungly, rainforesty type of areas. And it really seems like that is going to be the route that they're going with this map. And here is another species that I was really, really hoping they would add. This appears to be the Rusa deer. And the Rusa deer are by far one of my favorite possibilities for Australia. This is one of those species where I just, I felt they needed to include it if they wanted to do Australia right. And it seems like they have included it. We are getting the Rusa deer, or at least it, it appears to be Rusa deer. I suppose it could be sandbar, but it doesn't really look like a sandbar. That looks much more like a Rusa deer. So it looks like that's probably what we're going to be getting is Rusa deer. Another quick little image of some of the uh, foliage on the map and a couple of the trees, the sunset. This one's not too crazy, but it's still a new image to look at. So we're giving it a brief look. And now we've got what appears to be a feral goat with possibly some different fur than what we're used to. I don't know. That looks a little bit different to me. You guys let me know if that looks different to you, but it, it almost seems like the feral goats may have got a little bit of love. But this is a, a nice little image of a feral goat in one of the more open areas of the map, it seems. So there is 100% going to be some open areas because this showcases it right here. So that, uh, that kind of gets rid of the fear of this map being 100% like forested. There's definitely some open areas, so that's really nice. And here we've got a look at the brand new rifle. And we're going to go through the, uh, the uh, description of this update very shortly. But in the description, it says that this is a 22250, which is a huge, huge thing for the game. This is something a lot of us have requested for a long time. 22250 is known as one of the better calibers for varmin hunting. So I can only imagine that this is going to be a really fun rifle to use. And if we take a closer look at this image, if we uh, zoom in a little bit on those deer right there, those don't look like the other two that we looked at. That is potentially the sandbar deer. If it's sandbar deer, that would mean that we would have sandbar rusa and hog deer, which would be literally like my dream map. This is going to be the most perfect way that they could have done Australia. I honestly just cannot wait. I'm just getting, oh my gosh, I'm just getting so excited just looking at all these pictures, just wishing that I could be playing it right now. And this image right here seems to be of the hog deer once again. And yeah, that 100% that confirms that this is the hog deer. Now that we've got a better look at the male, but you can see its face, it's quite different from the Rusa and the Sambar. So that means we do have Sambar, Rusa, and Hog Deer. Amazing. Again, this is just the information that I've been able to gather based on looking at these images and then comparing them to those species on Google. So I could be wrong, but I do believe that that's what we've got here is Hog Deer, Sambar, and Rusa. But you know, let me know in the comments if I do end up being wrong there. And here is the final image. This one is kind of just overlooking what appears to be where a river meets the ocean. 
At least that's what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Not really an insane image. A little bit dark. Can't really see too much detail, but it still gets me excited for this map right here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what they've kind of given us details wise in this little post right here. Uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild expands to Australia. It's time to prepare for your next adventure. The Hunter Call of the Wild is expanding to Australia. Emerald Coast features a diverse open world with that teams with life, 14 animal species including iconic fauna such as the gray kangaroo, the saltwater crocodile, new side and story missions, and the new Zagan Varmenter 22 250 bolt action rifle. And then, of course, they give you a link to the trailer if you want to check it out. Uh, also releasing for free alongside Emerald Coast, the Outback update as a new Australian-inspired character outfit, a redesigned harvest screen, multiple bug fixes and improvements, and much more. So for Emerald Coast Australia, the new features are going to be, or I guess the key features are going to be, explore the Australian Outback, subtropical bushlands, and tropical rainforests, and explore the natural wonder of its stunning wilderness. Hunt some of Australia's most iconic fauna, including the magpie goose, bantang, a saltwater crocodile, and eastern grey kangaroo. Make new friends and work together to protect the region's beautiful but fragile ecosystem through side and story missions focus on conservation, cooperation, and community. Expand your hunting arsenal with the new Zagan Varmenter 22250 bolt action rifle. Light and comfortable to shoot, it's the perfect companion for any hunting trip. Now, there's some really juicy stuff in this little segment of text right here. I'm pretty excited. This is like, this is probably the most exciting stuff aside from the actual reserve itself. And uh, this is like the last little tidbit of information they give us. A new outfit based on the Emerald Coast will be available for purchase for all hunters with in-game credits. Additionally, this update introduces a new great one. The sightings of this majestic animal have been reported in Emerald Coast and Hirschfeld in Hunting Reserve. You know what that means. There's only a couple options that it could be. If we look at the stuff that's on Hirschfelden and we look at the stuff that is so far known to be on this map and stuff that we would expect to be on this map, a couple species that first come to mind is obviously the red fox and the fallow deer. Those are two species that are currently on Hirschfelden that could also be on an Australia reserve. So let's hope that we've got those on here. I'm really hoping for fallow deer. Really hoping for fallow deer. And I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out what it's gonna be. Next, we got tents and ground blinds can now be personalized using the customization system. All previously unlocked paints, sprays, camos, wraps, and materials can be used. That's honestly pretty huge. That is honestly really impressive that that is gonna be a possibility. Really happy they're doing something like that. Uh, players can now tag their favorite customization, so like a little favorites uh, type of system. Uh, audio clue system has been expanded, and players may now occasionally see indicators for fleeing calls, so similar to Way of the Hunter, when an animal flees, it looks like you'll be able to get a call for that. Uh, two new multi-mounts have been added for species found on Emerald Coast. That's pretty huge. That is awesome as well. Love to see new multi-mounts. And uh, yeah, it looks like that is about all the information we're going to get. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This gives you a little look at everything that has been uh, announced and shown in this little update post that they did, as well as the announcement trailer. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.